Ready? Ready. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Face the mirror and open. Billy starts feeling something around him. Now get close to the mirror. Put your hands on the counter. Guys, again, I want you to close your eyes. What's that? Close your eyes. Something made a noise over here. I heard that. We now ask permission to see through this portal. The count of three, I want you to appear. And the count of three, we will open our eyes. One, two, three. I just looked into my eyes and I had no eyes. Show yourself, they were dark holes. Oh, you know, I was like, I know this is so long. Dude, my face is disappearing. <laughs> Seriously, what is my face? It's never it's crawling. Look at it. My face is disappearing. Wow. No, it's back now. That was really weird. When I opened my eyes, I couldn't see my eyes. They were just black sockets and I had no facial features. Who's here in this hallway? Tom, ask a question. So who do we have with us tonight here uh, in the hallway? One of the teachers, student, or is there someone else here that uh, was here before everything else was here? Can we pass this threshold of this painted facade here? What is your name? Okay, hold on. Just want to document it was absolutely silent. Mm. Okay, hold on. Who's here in this hallway? Whoa! Whoa. Listen to this. Who's here in this hallway? Can we pass this What, oh, what, wow. what is this? Go, what is this, wow. bro? Can we pass Listen. this threshold of this painted facade here? And a murder. And a murder. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a murder. Sorry. This EVP has full vocal tone. We clearly hear and a murder. What is your name? We prepare for our investigation, and as we audio slate our cameras at Nerve Center, Billy notices something unexplainably move, and it's captured on camera. Slate Nerve. The f was that? What was that? They just jumped off of there. What was that? That bag? Yeah. I have no idea. I heard it like hit. Did you something. hear it? It, like, it went like this. I heard like metal go team as well. Did you hear that? Well, that was sitting right there. I don't know how that jumped off of there. We can't conclude that this is paranormal, but we aren't able to explain it either. We're not gonna leave here until we get answers. Okay, there have been women that have been severely affected here that have been attacked. And we are gonna draw you out. Whoever you are, whatever negative spirit you are, we are going to come after you, and we're not gonna leave. Do something right now in the house to give us a warning. Just as I say this, watch what happens to our X camera that is filming us right now. Can you come to this door right here? Hey, that camera just went off. What the hell? That just shut off. It did. It did. It just it shut it off just... by itself. What Whoa, the and hell? it just turned on. It just turned on by itself. Not only does the camera turn off unexplainably, but it also turns itself back on. Full battery. Zach, yeah. that has a full battery. It stopped recording, powered itself off, powered itself back on. Did you just turn our camera off? Was that you? The next piece of audio evidence is extremely chilling and could explain why only I felt so deeply affected. OK, and then the final one, which it says Bagans or Baggins. Plain as day, it was none of us. We didn't. This say is when you guys. I remember vaguely you guys saying something said my name. I didn't. Yeah. I don't recall hearing anything. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like any of us. 
Whoa! This troubling EVP with full vocal tone was captured on a digital recorder. To hear a Class A EVP calling my name in a building that has seen multiple suicides has me feeling intensely unsettled. And that's really close to the to the that's a man's digital voice. recorder too. Dude, that's like bagging right over your shoulder. Right, I mean, you did not hear that. <laughs> All right, let me. I gotta get close yeah. to this. Let me hear that again. I mean, that's the creepiest thing to hear is you hear vocal tone, you hear somebody talking to us, and it's none of us. Right. That's a very, very disturbing voice. Very. I'm going to put one of my balls on top of the book here, OK? We'll put a couple. OK, if you touch those balls, they'll light up. Can you go over to that stack of books there and speak into that little red light and tell me who you are? Were you the spirits that were talking to my friends in the basement? Can you knock one of those balls off the top of the books? Oh, whoa, Jay! Why did that just go what? off? I see. The why is that go going off, Jay? Dude, you know how hard it is for those to go off? It's going off. It's You're going getting off. getting that, right? You got that? I'm seeing it, too. Set this up. Yeah, I got it on my camera a little bit, too, but you probably got it on that one. That was awesome. <laughs> and, Jay, you know you have to touch Damn, that. And it's difficult. You have to touch that really hard. Can you make that ball light up again? Oh, my God! Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear us? You mad at Marina for what she was saying? What was that? What was that? Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. That came from your that phone. That came from in there. Oh, it came through came your through phone. Came through there, right? Yeah. I want everyone to listen very closely to this unexplained voice that just came from the empty house to my phone. This is an incredible piece of audio evidence. What was that? A male voice just told us to not bother him. Who is this? Henry Levy? Or perhaps the mysterious man who was found dead face first in their pond? It was upstairs. Yeah, it came through my phone what? through your speaker. Hello? Whoa, what was that? I just heard a woman, I think. What was that? Another creepy voice comes through, but not as strong as the first one. We think we hear very faintly. Can you hear the dead? Hello? I'm just scanning real quick. I'm just looking for shadows or, because we're out here alone. As Billy zooms in near the scoreboard posts, he captures what appears to be a very tall, slender shadow figure as seen here. Now, when we zoom in, you can actually see this tall, dark shadow figure appear to be standing on the right-hand side of the scoreboard post before it starts moving from right to left. This is absolutely incredible visual evidence. Because of the small LCD display, Aaron and Billy have no idea what they just captured. Was it in this room? Is this where you did it? After you tried to kill your daughter? Was it you that moved the stick? Move another stick. Knock something over. Kill your wife with a hammer? You kidding me? Piece of Try to kill your kids? I think you're a coward.
What the f was that? I don't know. Landed something just got thrown. It landed right by me though. Where was it? I don't know. It sounded like it landed just I can't see, but it sounded like something landed right in front of me. All of a sudden, Aaron Jay and I hear something get thrown. And while we are all standing here as seen on the thermal, this same camera incredibly captures a small rock appearing in the circle. This is absolutely amazing. But we heard you speaking to us. You were answering our questions. Can you show me how you come through the mirror? Oh my God, dude. Did you get what? what the f was that? What? You guys, where are you at? You no, you're right here. Right? The hall? I don't know. Bro, what the f was that? I'm serious. What the f was that? At this moment, I see something that absolutely shocks me beyond belief. And to further analyze this capture, I immediately tell the guys we have to go review the footage. I told you, I got it. Told you. As I was standing in the room alone with Billy and Aaron outside in the hallway, I aimed the XLS camera into a mirror at a 45 degree angle facing all of the other mirrors when I noticed a very faint black figure that starts materializing. That's one of the best captures ever, dude. Oh, I, I don't think we've ever captured anything like that. No, that was insane. Ever. 